Hello and welcome to another PWN Design Studio tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be talking about the photometric spectral atmosphere model. And this model has been recently introduced into some of the newer versions of VIEW. I think VIEW version 11 or 11.5 or something like that. Um, but that's uh, the new model that they introduced and it's super nice. I, I like it more than just the standard spectral. And I'll show you the difference between a standard spectral and a photometric um, spectral atmosphere as well and all this is automatic so I'll go ahead and show you the presets noon afternoon late afternoon and sunset and all of these are automatically set by view it, it adjusts the exposure the color everything it, like you really literally don't have to do much of anything to set up your scene and still get realistic results however with that said, if you do want to change the settings and use your own result or own settings, you still can. Uh, and what I mean by that is what I've noticed in the spectral models or photometric spectral models is that the shadows tend to be really dark regardless of the time of day. So I like to go into the allow overriding photometric settings, keep them all the same and just bring up the sky dome lighting gain a little bit and kind of play with it. Though you can go through and change all the settings like you would be able to just in the regular spectral one. So don't think that you know you're they're taking away your control and view. They're not. They're really just giving you a better model to work with. So immediately you get better results right out of the, the box. And what it's supposed to do is give you a more uh, realistic photographic look on your uh, in your render. They consider the spectral, the standard spectral model to be more of an artistic model now rather than you know a, a natural model. <clears throat> just going off of what I read on Eon's website. So I'll show you the difference here and I'm going to create um, I'm gonna adjust the settings here a little bit just to get me a little more of what I want. Okay that's not what I want. I'll just stick with the blue. <clears throat> and uh, I'll show you the, the render here and then I'll go through and I'll load up a spectral model just from one of the presets and um, I'll show you the differences and another thing about the photometric spectral model is that it's really fast to render as well granted I'm not uh, adjusting the settings hardly at all uh, this is just a final render but you can see that there's hardly any grain uh, in the shadows and the shadows are nice and smooth and everything so that it does give you better results without and, and faster results so I like that a lot as well and I'm just gonna keep all this the same and now that I've showed you this let me go through and just kinda of show you what one of the presets for the spectral model will be so I'll choose something that looks similar so maybe what was that morning is what I had for the photometric one sunset okay so it's gonna be evening maybe dusk maybe dusk and <clears throat> I'm going to turn this around just so we have the shadows on the mountain. It's not going to make much of a difference when we're trying to compare. I just want a good shot as well. Okay, so I'm going to go in and adjust the uh, settings here and make this global radiosity. And you can kind of see the little differences there, not much and I'll bring this up to 4 as well <clears throat> same settings almost they're a little bit different but as you can see it's a little bit more artistic looking and some people might argue well this looks better than this and yeah this has different colors they're not exactly the same atmosphere so I can't really tell you exactly which one's better? This one has a lot more grain in the shadows. Um, the shadows aren't as smooth. This one, the shadows are smoother. There's less grain. Um, the colors are a little bit more realistic on the landscape with the sky. This one, not so much. So this does look a little bit more artistic and maybe more pleasing to the eye with just the default settings, but this one looks more realistic um, when you play around with it a little bit more. So maybe what we can do, or what I can do, is I can load up a photometric let's just go up the sunset again come back around on this side of the mountain Oops. 
that way. <clears throat> right there, is that where I had it? Somewhere around there. And maybe what we can do is convert this to a standard spectral. This scene was designed for the photometric atmospheric model. Switching to the spectral model requires some adjustments to the atmosphere and to the camera exposure. What would you like to do? You can keep the current camera, the atmosphere settings in the camera exposure, or you can let view adjust them. So let's let view adjust them. And this is what we get, something really dark. And that's just going from one to the other. So you can kind of see the, that view is playing around with the adjust, uh, the exposure and everything so let's auto expose this and preview that there you go and let's go ahead and convert it back to a photometric spectral and it said this scene was designed for spectral atmosphere models so let's let view adjust it accordingly and there we go and auto exposure is going to be set so let's go ahead and render this out super quick rendering auto exposure everything's the same and here's the differences and that's just going from one to the other just adjusting it a little bit and you can see here the shadows are a little bit more sharp and noisy and this one the shadows are nice and soft so um, also it kind of looks like it makes the landscape look a little bit more soft as well uh, maybe the shadow maybe because the shadows aren't so harsh in the photometric one and in the spectral one, they're a little bit more harsh. But you can kind of just see the differences here. I really like the photometric one a lot more uh, just for terms of um, realism. And this is just so basic, guys. It's super basic. I hardly did anything to change these atmospheres um, other than convert them and maybe adjust the, the sky dome lighting in. But other than that, not much. So that's the photometric spectral model. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I try to keep and uh, keep up on my YouTube comments and whatnot. And if you have any questions that you want to send to me privately, you definitely can. All you have to do is just go to www.pwndesign.com. And uh, if you uh, like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, or even share if you would like. Thank you and have a nice day.